What's going on, people? About to check out Halloween, and I'll be back with my review. What's going on, people? I'm back with another movie review. Halloween 2018. I went to see it today, and it is directed by David Gordon Green, returning Jamie Lee Curtis. It came out in the U.S. on a 17th, I think, but to my city, it came out last night to theaters. So I decided to go see it today because I don't go to the movies during the week, especially if I worked during that week. So I just wait until the weekend to catch it. And I must say, it's a really, really good, badass film. I was so stoked to see Michael Myers again because I am a Halloween fanatic. My sister and I, we like watch all the Halloween movies. We watch marathons just on any random moment. My whole family, really. But anyway, okay. So the movie starts off with Michael Myers and he's in like a mental facility for people like serial killers, mass murder, stuff like that. And they don't show his face. They show like inside the facility first and then you just see a lot of crazy people doing crazy things and you see like these two journalists and they are walking like with the warden and with Michael Myers doctor and the doctor is talking to them about his condition and just giving them a you know just the background on Michael Myers and everything and so they go like to the field outside like a like a basketball court or whatever. And he's standing out there along with a couple of other patients. And he has his back turned the whole while so you don't see his face. And they are dressing like all white. And he has like a low cut grayish hair. You know, he looked to be about in his mid 60s <laughs> i don't know it just looked like somebody old grandpa and like i say they don't show his face his back is turned he's tall he's he's looked to be like you know like just the old aging michael myers over the years but he's turned backwards the whole while and they approach him and the doctor say don't go inside the yellow box and he's like standing inside i don't know he's i guess like for your safety don't go past a certain limit or he'll get hold to you and kill you whatever and so um the people they're out there talking to him it's a lady and a man and the man he asks to go a little closer so the doctor said yeah he goes closer to michael myers and he has he pulled out his mask and michael myers you could tell that he probably wanted to turn around or something, but he just turned around just a little bit because he sensed that, you know, they had something that belonged to him that he wanted back. So after that, a lot of the patients, they just started going crazy because they was like, he giving them reaction, reaction, you know, just showing a little something that he hasn't shown since he's been in a mental facility. So anyway... They leave from that part and they show Jamie Lee Curtis and she lives like in this area, like deserted area away from all civilization off of a dirt road. She own like this property that's like highly secured and gated and you have to like, um, you know, like in a, a upsell gated community when you go up and you have to you know, call in to the person so they can buzz you in. And so the two people, they go to her residence to try to speak with her about Michael Myers and stuff just to let her know. And she already know that he's about to get transferred to another place. And so um, she already knows. So they, she really didn't want to talk to them. And they offered to pay her $3,000 to get a sit down interview with her. And so she went on and buzzed them in. That was funny to me. And so... After they made it in her house and everything and sat down and talked to her, she just, she seems okay. She just seemed like she just, you know, been through a lot with a brother that's been trying to kill her over all these years. And 
you know, she's still dealing with all of the, the trauma from that. So she sit down, give him the interview, whatever, whatever. And it was over with. And then they paid her and then they left. So when they left, they were heading into town. They stopped at a gas station. But before then, there was a bus crash. And the bus that was transferred Michael Myers to another center or whatever, it crashed. And all of the people on the bus, all the patients got a loose. So just so happened, his doctor and his son or grandson was coming down the same road that the bus had crashed on. And then when they stopped and noticed the bus had crashed and all the patients were just roaming the road, the highway, um, he got out of the truck and went to go and check and see, like, was anybody, did anybody make it out of the crash? Like the driver or whatever, the warden on the bus. And as soon as he got on the bus, he took like a long time, but he had told his son to call the police. His son called the police and the police were on the way. But him being curious to see, if, you know, what happened and is his dad okay? He got out the truck, went to check and see if his dad is okay. And I guess Michael Myers had attacked his dad or whatever. But he was down on the bus and when he jumped up, his son shot him because he took the shotgun with him out of the truck to the bus. And so I'm not going to get in too, too, too many details about it because I didn't mention this early in the video, but this is a spoiler. So... Um, after that scene, Jamie Lee Curtis, well, Laura Stroh, she finds out that Michael is loose, so this is just driving her crazy. She went to go and see her family, which is her daughter and her granddaughter, and they really don't want to have nothing to do with her because they feel like that she's just causing a lot in their lives with all the stuff that happened with her running from Michael Myers and stuff like that, and you know, it's just causing a lot with the family, period. But her daughter graduated high school, and so they're having a dinner for her. And she came, but she just kind of made the moment about whatever happened between her and Michael Myers. She starts crying. Her daughter was like, see, that's why we didn't want you to come. That's why we stopped communicating with you because of this you really need to just get over Michael Myers and just let that go. And I'm like, and so Jamie Lee, she picked up the glass of wine off the table and drunk it. And it was like, mom, see, that's why we don't let you come to the house anymore. Cause you still drink I'm like what? And her daughter, um, Laura Stroll's granddaughter, she like had a little sympathy for her because she never seen her grandmother in that light before. And so after she got up and left the table and stormed out, she went behind her and, um, and so after that, there's like a Halloween party and all the while Michael Myers is loose. And so once, what's her name? I don't know the granddaughter's name. I'm so sorry I didn't get her name because I did write down a few notes, but I didn't get her name. She went to a Halloween party at the school and this is when the family found out about Michael Myers being loose. And so that's when Laura Stroh went to her daughter and her husband house and let them know. And the police also made it up there. In the meantime, he have killed so many people. He even killed the two journalists who went and had a sat down meeting with Laurie Strode about him. And so the movie is just real good to me. It started off like straight to the point showing Michael Myers. It started off showing Laurie Strode. It went back into what happened in the past. The only thing that I was looking forward to is who played her son in H2O, Josh Hornet. He wasn't in this one, and I, I just kind of wish he was in this one, and it didn't turn the story into a daughter and a granddaughter. But at the same time, it was real, real, real good. So I wish he was in it, but, you know, even though he's not, I'm still not disappointed. It was still a good movie. It was action-packed. It wasn't all that, like, horrifying. It wasn't too scary to me. I jumped a couple of times throughout the movie, but it kept me. It kept me from beginning to end. And so I'm not going to get into too many details toward the end of the movie. Just go see it. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. So if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And I want to thank y'all for watching.